Hi my friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget and another foundation on a Friday. Although today, strictly, it's a CC cream. Now, when I first heard about CC creams back in the day and BB creams, some of them were no more really than a tinted moisturiser and that still stands now. Some BB creams and CC creams are no more than a tinted moisturiser and wouldn't be enough coverage for what I want. If you've got a young flawless skin, yes, yeah, wonderful, but it certainly wouldn't give the coverage that I wanted. Um, but I've tried some that are absolutely brilliant. They're wonderful. Uh, one of the ones that I tried that I absolutely loved was one from Lacura that I got from Aldi. I did do a video on it about a year ago, I believe, but I cannot get hold of that for love nor money. Um, I don't know if it's in my area. I don't know if they've stopped doing it. Um, but I must get in touch with Aldi about that because I really loved that one. Um, obviously, the creme de la creme, the, the It Cosmetic CC cream, unbelievable. Um, and there are some good ones. But... I would say, as with everything, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't really tell what it does until you try it. And it's so difficult because you can be taken in. I know I have them. Been taken in by advertising and what it does and this product is the best thing since the invention of the wheel. You know, it it does. They They do. You know, push their products, subtly so in some cases. So I think it definitely is the proof of the pudding. I, I was thinking of this this morning, actually, it came to mind. I was watching a very well-known shopping channel on television and um, they had a special beauty hour um, where they do pics of what they've shown during the week, different things what they've shown. And... They did two products, probably not the best thing to do, but they did two products for concealing, specialising in under eye concealing. Um, and there were two very popular products, very popular, probably the biggest two, yeah, products for under eye concealing. I don't know what I can say and I can't. <laughs> but... The first part came on, it's about 20 minute slots for each one, I guess. So the first part come on, this is fantastic. And you look at the, you know, the, the demonstrations and it is, it is fantastic. Oh my goodness. You know, that's, that's definitely wonderful. I've, I've tried both of these products, by the way. Um, and great, great. And then 20 minutes later, they put on the other product right after. And I thought, no, that that's kind of bad scheduling, really. Um, and that one said exactly the same thing. There's nothing else like this. This is it. This will do this. And you think, well, which one? You know? Um, and it can be confusing. And I know I'm going adrift. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to sort of share with you how I feel about the things. And personally, I think the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I think... If you know someone very well that shows you something that's really good, our ladies are, um, you know, very good at that. And, you know, testing out, testing out in the shop even. But advertising, don't, don't always swallow the advertising. Anyway, we'll get back to the product now. So it is a CC cream today. Now this is one by Bourgeois. And let me put my glasses on so I can see properly. And it's called 123 Perfect CC Cream. And it's three pigments colour correcting in this as well. It's got apricot for anti fatigue, it's got green for anti redness, and it's got white for anti dark spots. So they're the three pigments that are in it. And it says it's luminous, complexion, and smooth skin. I really like this one, guys. I have it on now. 
obviously with the rest of my makeup. I do really like this one. Um, I first saw this on Kathy A's channel and she said she liked it. This is what I was saying about finding the people that you trust and you know and you've learnt from before. You know, and certainly Kathy is, uh, I take her advice every time. So the colour I use in this is ivory. It is a little light for me at the moment, as some a lot of my foundations are. But we're getting into that weather now where it's uh, going to need to be a little bit lighter, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that one. I'll show you how I applied it and I will be back. Okay, so as I said, never underestimate a CC cream or a BB cream. Um, I totally agree, some of them are nothing more than a tinted moisturiser. This particular one, I've put some on the back of my hand. I'm quite slow at the moment, so please bear with me. And I just dot this over my face. Like this, over. And then I work that in as I would any other foundation. Down a bit like this. You can wipe this under the eye. I try not to use foundations that you can't put under the eye or CC creams that you can't put under the eye um, because they just go, sometimes they just a bit goes up, doesn't it? And if you can't put it under the eye because it dries, it means it's going to dry anywhere, everywhere, doesn't it? So, um, I try not to use anything too heavy. But I would say this has as much coverage as a foundation. Again, it may be a little light for this time of the year. And I'll just get my big mirror over, guys, so I can see. Hmm, that's scary that big mirror in the morning isn't it <laughs> bit on my eyelids I think the time um, working on it and smoothing it out is important with any well any makeup isn't it you know that guys that's my uh Motto, blend, blend, blend again. Okay, so if you want a little more coverage, a little bit more. I don't normally go in with a second layer, but because I want to show you today, I will do that. Again on my beauty blender. Sorry, real technique sponge. I always do that, guys. A little more round. And we'll just work a little bit more in. Sit. So, as I said, it takes a little longer, which is why I was considering doing some of my videos, I've done one, having over the voiceover as opposed to um, actually doing it for you because I could speed it up a bit. And... But I know you've got patience in you guys. You're just the best, you know, I tell you that time and time again. You are simply the best. Okay. And that corner one. I love these real technique sponges. I've never tried the original Beauty Blender. I think I've said before. But I've tried um, other store ones. Drugstore, high street ones. And 
So far they've been totally disastered. Okay. So that is the finish. Come up close. It gives a nice dewy finish, but it does dry down. It doesn't dry with any um, residue. You know, sometimes it leaves a stickiness. It does dry so that you can touch your face, but it doesn't dry that very matte looking. I try not to do that too much, as we've spoken about before. Okay. So I am going to put the rest of my makeup on and I will be back. So what did you think of that? I like the way I've got the rest of my makeup on now. Now I haven't got any concealer on. I didn't put any concealer on at all. So I've got the foundation on the minute on my face. All I've got on my face, obviously my eyes and my lips are on, but all I've got on my face, apart from the foundation, the CC cream, is a blush and a highlight. So I've got no correctors or colours or concealers or anything. That's all I've got on. And I think that does a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed with that, I've got to say. So thank you, Cathy, for recommending that. <laughs> I really like that one. If you haven't seen Kathy's channel, I'm sure you have, but I'll link it below anyway, so you uh, you know where I'm coming from. So, CC creams. As I said, I'm going to try and get hold of the algae one as well, because I really like that. But that's the bourgeois sweet... Blah, 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 blah. Bourgeois CC cream for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back again next week, and I'll be doing a little blog vlog every day next week um from monday to friday won't be very long ones but i'll pop in every day and um show you what i'm doing for a week something slightly different for you yeah we'll share that next week okay you take care of yourselves have a brilliant weekend bye my guys bye love you all bye <laughs>